forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. That's putting it mildly.
Hello everyone, Jekyll here, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, um, forgive me, Dad, because I have sinned. Synchro Appliances. I have to say that I didn't have too much of an expectation for this, but I was genuinely surprised, mostly due to the fact that the Assault Mode engine with Triple Side Reflector 1 Beast and Water Assault Mode Activate just became extremely good with the additional emergency teleport, making the engine extremely easy to access. We're also playing the standard triple socket roll, double breaker buckle, and triple copy buckle when it comes to the appliance package. One reuse because, well, I don't think it's that great since we can just recycle the monsters with electrolytical world. Which is searchable of terraforming, so I think it's fine. Uh, we're playing one conversion. I'm very iffy about this one. It's a nice quick play, allows you to resummon and reset your appliance mo appliances, but uh, it didn't come up during the testing, so I'm not very keen about this. And for some search power, we're playing Jack in the Hand and War of Dao, which basically searches out the entire deck. Just a conflict is here mostly as an extender for XC summons, and so we can actually activate where are thou. This is uh, an interesting addition. Uh, Yamatako Orochi is just a level 1 Sea Serpent tuner, which fulfills everything for this deck full of level 1 monsters. But uh, when used for a synchro summon, it can be treated as a level 8, giving us access to the level 9 synchro pool. Which is very nice. And what we get from it will be. Uh, we'll talk about soon. Next, we have our standard package of hand traps, triple ash, and triple emperor, because fuck you, that's why. As for our extra deck, we have one Kappa scale, which didn't come up much, uh, but it's here just for some utility. The Dryer Drake. Did come up a bit, uh, a bit, but it's still just for utility and because it has the arrow that we can use and have more linked monsters uh, to our main extra monster zone monster, the Celtipus. Double Laundry Dragon because it's it's Laundry Dragon. Double Propellion because it's Propellion. Those two are the best appliance monster. Fight me. Next we have the the Zeus package with a sample Nightingale. Downer, Magician, and Zeus. We're also playing one more Xyz monster, Phantom Fortress, Enter Blathlinir. Because we're playing Cloud Castle, Ravenous Crocodragon Arshithus, Shen Shen, and the monster I'm very keen on playing, and this is the main reason I made this deck, Karakuri Super Shogun Model 00N Bureibu. Braver requires a non-tuna machine monster, which all the appliances are. However, Psychic Reflector is a psychic and Assault Beast is a beast, so Yamatako Orochi is the monster you're going to be using as a tuner for this one. It's a very interesting monster, since once per turn, if a battle position of a Karakuri monster changes, you can just target a card and banish it. Shen Shen is here for utility and for banishing stuff. Uh, Crocodragon for drop bar and Xyz plays. And Cloud Castle for recycling and Xyz plays. The deck is uh, quite solid, if I do say so myself. And I really like it. I would make a few changes, but uh, that will be... We'll see that in a few seconds.